Hello everyone, welcome to AMS Academy. I am Shara Gupta. Today we are going to discuss the current affairs of 23 and 24 June. So before we move forward, subscribe our YouTube channel AMS Academy and press the bell icon for daily current affairs. Now let's start with today's current affairs. First is International Olympic Day is celebrated across the world on 23 June every year. The day marks the importance of games and sports in our lives and promotes participation in games and sports across the world. Next is United Nations Public Service Day is celebrated on 23 June as tribute to the people who are associated with public service in all the countries of the world. It is celebrated to acknowledge the creative achievement and contribution by the public service institutions. Next is International Widow Day is celebrated every year on 23 June. It was introduced to address poverty and injustice faced by widows and their children in many countries. It was officially recognized by the United Nations in 2010. Next is BMW appointed Vikram Pawa as the president of BMW Group India. He will succeed Rudra Tej Singh. Next is Sethuram Panjanathan appointed as the director of National Science Foundation. National Science Foundation is an independent agency of United States government that supports fundamental research and education in all the non-medical fields of science and engineering. Next is Vijay Khanduja has been appointed as the India's next ambassador to Zimbabwe. Recently, two more appointments of India's ambassador has been done, in which first is Santosh Jha, which is a uh, first is Santosh Jha appointed as the next ambassador of India to Belgium and next is Shambhu S. Kumaran which is appointed as India's next ambassador to Philippines. Geeta Parsi is the member of US Senior Foreign Service. Next is Nikhil Rati, Indian origin, chief of London Stock Exchange appointed as the CEO of UK's Final Conduct Authority. He will succeed interim CEO Christopher Bullard. Next is Colin Shah appointed as the new chairman of Jam and Jewelry Export Promotion Council. And Vipul Shah has been na named as vice chairman of Jam and Jewelry Export Promotion Council. Next is PM Narendra Modi has launched a massive rural public works scheme called Karif Kalyan Rozgar Abhiyan in six states. This abhiyan will provide livelihood opportunities to the migrant workers and will help in development of rural areas by creating local infrastructure. Next is the insurance scheme announced under the Pradhan Mantri Gadeep Kalyan package for health worker has been extended for three months till September 2020. The scheme provides an insurance cover of 50 lakhs to around over 22 lakh public health care providers. They include community health workers who may have to be in direct contact and care of COVID-19 patients. Next is, National Test Agency has launched 
हिंदी फीचर्स और नेशनल टेस्ट अभ्यास मोबाइल ऐप रिसेंटली नेशनल टेस्ट एजेंसी हैज लॉन्च इट्स ऐप टू एम्पावर इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेडिकल एस्पायरेंट्स टू प्रिपेयर सेफली फ्रॉम देयर होम्स नेक्स्ट इज एच आर डी मिनिस्टर रमेश पोखरियाल निशंक हैज लॉन्च एन ऑनलाइन योगा क्विज कॉम्पिटिशन टू प्रमोट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ योगा इन स्कूल करिकुलम द क्विज विल बी ओपन फॉर वन मंथ एंड स्टूडेंट कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन इट क्विज इज फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ अक्रॉस द कंट्री नेक्स्ट इज यूनियन स्टेट मिनिस्टर फॉर केमिकल एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स मनसुख मंदाविया इनागुरेटेड वन ऑफ द इंडिया लार्जेस्ट एंड फर्स्ट वर्चुअल हेल्थ केयर एंड हाइजीन एक्सपो द यूनिक एग्जीबिशन एम्स टू गिव अ बूस्ट टू हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन एंड यूवर्स इट हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एफ आई सी सी आई नेक्स्ट इज मिनिस्टर ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज हरसिमरत कौर बादल हैज लॉन्च द फूड प्रोसेसिंग एडिशन ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फोरम नेक्स्ट इज झारखंड इज सेट टू लॉन्च हंड्रेड डे एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्कीम कॉल्ड मुख्यमंत्री श्रमिक योजना फॉर अर्बन स्किल वर्कर्स सिमिलर टू एनजी नरेगा amid covid-19 pandemic and increasing unemployment in which shramik stand for shahri rozgar manjuri for kamgar next is in madhya pradesh nishtha vidyut mitra scheme has started by madhya kshetra vidyut vitran company for women empowerment in one of its kind of initiative in this scheme women self help groups at gram panchayat level will work as nishtha vidyut mitra next is tripura government has decided to start a scheme called ek to khelo ek to padho which means play little study little this is because of uncertainty prevailing over reopening of schools due to covid-19 pandemic the new scheme can be accessed by a smartphone of guardians next is world famous jagannath rath yatra begins in puri amid restrictions in wake of corona virus pandemic the rituals for the most celebrated and the world famous rath yatra have started recently another festival called raj parv is also celebrated in odisha next is in maharashtra pahalgarh district police is running a vishwas abhiyan the aim is to build rapport with tribal is residents in the district next is mumbai's civic body has launched mission zero a rapid action plan to contain the spread of novel coronavirus in which 50 mobile dispensary vans has been inaugurated which will visit the city hotspot areas to identify and conduct up and conduct examination of patients next is Niti Aayog in collaboration with International Transport Forum will launch the decarbonizing transport in India project with the intention to develop a pathway towards a low carbon transport system for India Next is Niti Aayog has formed a committee of top executive of technology companies like Google Microsoft etc to provide information in their language about employment for migrant workers the aim is to create a platform where workers can find employment opportunities 
in their language around their place. Next is the book Legend of Suhail Dev, The King Who Saved India is written by Amish Tripathi. Book is set in 11th century India when Mahmud of Ghazni destroyed the Somnath temple. Next is Karnataka Bank launched KBL Micrometer to offer financial assistance of up to 10 lakh to micro manufacturing and service enterprises to meet their working capital needs for investment purposes. Next is Yes Bank has partnered with fintech startup Afford Plan to launch a co-branded Swast card to address healthcare need. Yes Bank Wallet has also been integrated on Afford Plan Swast to enable wallet QR scan for making payments to merchant partners and paneled on the Afford Plan Swast app. Next is China's high-speed maglev test vehicle with a speed of 600 km per hour a successfully conducted its maiden test run on a maglev line. The average air travel speed of jet passenger planes is 800 km per hour while that of conventional bullet train uh, in China is around 300 km per hour. Next is ISRO received patent for its liquid cooling and heating armament for astronauts to use in space for protection from hot and cold environment. Next is India has backed the right to host the Women Football Asian Cup 2022. Next is Minerva Academy Football Club has been recommended for 2020 Rashtriya Khel Protsahan Puraskar by the Punjab government and Fikki. Next and last is obituaries. First is Rajendra Goyal, one of the India's finest left arm spinner passed away. Next is retired Major General Richman Singhal passed away. So, this is all for today. If you like it, please give me your feedback in comment section. Do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel AMS Academy. Thank you everyone.